Watch this. He's probably the same. Run 2.0 is making a continuous long looping video and it can run as long as you want. Halfway through I change the motion with a one line prompt and no glitches, no weird moves. I'm using a Q5 GGUF model so it works on low VRAM PCs. This 20 second clip rendered in about a minute. If you need more length, you can extend it to unlimited time. Building this workflow took time actually. Loads of nodes, lots of testing, but I have made it simple so you can try and run on low VRAM CPU. If it saves your time, please like and comment to support the channel. You can download this workflow for free at aistudynow.com. I have also put the link in the description. So here is the workflow. When I first built it, it had a lot of nodes and covered my whole graph. Making a 40 second video was quite hard because I had to create new groups with many nodes. So I used the new Confi UI subgraph feature to simplify everything. Now the workflow is clean and easy to run. Even if you are a beginner, you can use this workflow too. So let's talk about the workflow. Just upload your image. With this, you can generate as many video parts as you want and build a long clip. First, I'll show how to pick the model. Click the subgraph cell, open the model section and go inside. Choose your high noise model, then choose your low noise when 2.2 model GGUF file. In the same place, you can load the text encoder and VA. I added two LoRa slots here, they are bypassed by default. If you want stronger motion, you can add POSA LoRa V2 later. I built this workflow to run on low VRAM. So I'm using a GGF model here and in LoRa, pick the 4-step LoRa for high noise and the 4-step LoRa for low noise. And do the same model picks in video part 2 and video part 3. Enter each group, open its model section and select the same models. So here I have uploaded my image, which is a boy with an X. I always use Resolution Master because it's best, simple way to choose a safe resolution. In the preset, I select when and I choose 720 by 720. If I try 1024 by 1024 on low VRAM, I get an allocation error. So I stay at 720 by 720. And I also click auto fit so it gives a good size for this workflow. So there are three samplers in this workflow. Always use 81 frames and render at 16 FPS. Don't change the frame count, keep it at 81 only. The first sampler runs without LoRa with one step. It adds controlled noise and helps quality. And the other two samplers run with LoRa. I use three steps in each of them. So the flow is first sampler, no LoRa one step. Second sampler with LoRa three steps. Third sampler with LoRa three steps. You can raise the first no LoRa steps from 1 to 2 or 3 if you want. 
same with other if you want more steps so here i have added a seed control for every part if one part looks wrong change only that part seed and that's because to random and regenerate just that group keep the other parts fixed so they don't change now let's talk about the prompt in video part 1 write a winter village scene soft snow falling the camera shows the boy from head to boots he smiles he holds a small axe and points it in part 2 i change the motion here the boy starts running small puffs of snow he holds the axe down by his side cozy houses pass in the background I keep a simple camera change in each part to get a cinematic look. And lastly, in part three, I continue to run fast. In part four, I add a beat. A small wooden stump appears, and he sets the X on the stump safely. So let's generate and see the result. For me, the first sampler takes about seventeen seconds. The second one takes twenty-eight seconds. Third is also the same. So one video part is roughly one minute. Four parts make about twenty seconds of video. So the whole sec twenty-second clip takes around three to four minutes. And finally, you can see the result. It's actually surprisingly good the boy runs with the x then speeds up and in the final beat the stump appears and he sets the x on it exactly like the prompt if i don't like only part 4 i just change part 4 seed to random tweak the prompt and regenerate only that part part 1 to 3 stays the same if you want to extend the video copy the whole part group and connect the hooks with the same names which are like this setup setup no lora no lora width width height height num frames num frames first image start image and video will be video add the new part to the combined video node copy the global seed and set it to fixed or random as you like so i have added a new line to the prompt uh like he picks up the x and walks again then click run so here you can see only the new part renders the earlier parts are untouched Now the clip is about twenty-five seconds. The new scene follows the new prompt, and the rest stays consistent. The longer you extend, the more you may see small color drift. So I usually keep it around twenty to twenty-five seconds per run. So now let's talk about a second example. It's a desert scene with two soldiers. My source image is. Eleven hundred seventy-six by eleven hundred sixty-four, which causes an out-of-memory error on my card. So I pick a CIF size. First, I try with seven twenty by thousand eighty, but to be extra safe, I go down to six hundred twenty-four by eight hundred thirty-two. Here I keep no lower steps, which are one. And uh, Laura sampler steps three, and then I write simple motion prompts and small camera moves, so every part has a clear action. the The output looks cinematic. As a result, you can see the camera tracks the soldiers as wind blows sand across the ground. Part four is where I wasn't happy in the first try, and to fix it, I only touched part four. I changed two things: the prompt and the scene. 
and the final result looks right. Using subgraph made this whole build easy and my first graph was huge and hard to manage. With subgraph, I packed each section so even a longer 20 to 25 second video is simple. Good. So that's it for today's video. And lastly, if you like this one, please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.